Good morning, students. Today we are going to learn a transformation of assertive and interrogative sentences. So let us begin with assertive and interrogative sentences. Now you know interrogative sentence is uh, sometimes interrogative only in form. So it looks in form interrogative, but it may not be interrogative. Interrogative means question type, isn't it? So in substance, it is an emphatic statement. Okay, emphatic statement it is. Now you can see over here in these examples given over here, who can bear such an insult? Can anyone bear such an insult? So over here, uh, this is interrogative form you can understand. You can see over here, it's an interrogative form. But it is not framed to collect any sort of information. This particular sentence is framed not to collect any sort of information. So they want to make an emphatic statement. That is why it is used over here. So you, it, like for example, nobody can bear. Am I right? Nobody can bear. So such a statement only you can make from this. Nobody can bear uh, such an insult. So... It is possible to change this form of such a sentence from interrogative to assertive. Okay, from interrogative to assertive. Uh, and same way, uh, the other way around, assertive to interrogative. So we should remember that one thing is that an affirmative question, affirmative question implies negative statement. That is what you can see over here. Affirmative statement question implies a negative statement while a negative question implies an affirmative statement. Got it? So this is how it goes. For example, if I say, am I wrong? Am I wrong? So what will be the statement? I am not. I am not wrong. So I am to now in a negative form, negative you can see, aren't you crossing all the limits this is negative so for this you will be uh, getting a positive statement right you are you are crossing all the limits this is how it changes okay so let us see some more examples of this. over here you can see some of the examples now here you can see the interrogative form right this is the interrogative form uh, in which when can her memory fade? Interrogative form. So this is changed to the assertive by saying her memory can never fade. When can her memory fade? Her memory can never fade. You can see the usage can never fade. Fine. Right? So isn't she exceptionally tall for her age? So it's in the negative form. Right. Isn't she uh, exceptionally tall? tall for her age it's in the interrogative but it's the negative part right so it just changes see she is exceptionally tall for her age affirmative in the positive form it is changed then the next one you can see can amazing wealth be the sole aim of life interrogative it is interrogative so when you're changing into assertive sorry this is i wrote as affirmative right Assertive. When you are changing it to assertive, it becomes amazing wealth cannot. See, it's changed into the negative. Amazing wealth can becomes cannot. Cannot be the sole aim of life. Uh, similarly, you are having another interrogative. How have I offended you? How have I offended you? So when you are changing it to the assertive, it becomes I have not. Have becomes have not have not offended you in any way so it's the negative form you can see one more example of it of the type interrogative form who could have dared to contradict the chief minister okay who could have the question is fine when you're changing it into the assertive it becomes nobody could nobody could so it's changing it to the negative form nobody could have dared to contradict the chief minister so this is how the, the sentences from interrogative changes, interrogative uh, changes to uh, assertive or assertive changes to interrogative. Now let us see, now let us see the change of sentence, transformation of exclamatory sentence to assertive sentence. Now you all know, we are well aware of exclamatory sentence. When we say exclamatory sentence, exclamatory sentence are normally used to express strong emotions, isn't it? So their word order is also 
slightly different from the other one from the assertive sentence so that is what you can see so while changing this type of a sentence from exclamatory to an assertive one the normal word or word order is restored so we change from this type of word order to the normal one right so that is what happens over here so in when we do so some words that is with, with those initial force of the sentence are added to it right so that is what happens over here. Let us see some of the examples and then you will come to know how to do it. The first example you can see how witty and meaningful his comments were. Okay. So this is with strong feelings. Am I right? So here when you change it into the editor it becomes his comments were very witty and meaningful. His comments were very witty and meaningful. So how witty. This is what the word order is getting changed. His comments were so first part you are writing his comments were uh, very witty. How witty and meaningful. So that is what is being changed to very witty and meaningful. This is how it gets changed. Next exclamatory sentence you see. Oh that spring were eternal. So you are. this is with uh, expression or with strong emotions you can see. Uh, that is getting changed like this. I wish that spring were eternal. I wish that spring were eternal. So this is getting changed over here in assertive. Next exclamatory sentence you can see. Had you but sent me a message. Had you but sent me a message. So it gets changed to the assertive. I wish that you had sent me a message. Next one with the feeling alas my bad luck still continues to dog me. Okay. So that is getting changed to assertive. It is a pity. So we are changing this entirely away. It is a pity that so you know alas the word used to over here for a disappointment am i right so it is a pity that my bad luck still continues to dog me and the last one you see death before dishonor so i would prefer death before dishonor so this is how an exclamatory is changed to the assertive sentence now let us move to interchanging the degrees of comparison Degrees of comparison I already taught you in uh, changing adjectives, comparison. Okay, so we'll just uh, rush up through it. If you want, I'll just uh, show one or two examples of this. While doing degrees of comparison, we didn't uh, change one to all three forms like this, I believe. So you can see superlative. You see Jupiter is the biggest planet is in the superlative form. Now when you have to change it, so it depends what it is, what is asked in the question. If a hint is given of the uh, remaining part or something like this, the hint is given, then you have to change accordingly. Jupiter is bigger, what the end or the beginning, if it is given, you have to change accordingly, okay? So now here when I am explaining, I will just give the explanation of all three. So superlative changes, superlative, Jupiter is the biggest planet, is the superlative form. That is getting changed to the comparative. You can see Jupiter is bigger than any other planet. So all other planets, isn't it? So all other planets, that is what it means. Jupiter is bigger than any other planet. In positive, when you change to the positive, it becomes no other planet is so big as Jupiter. Okay. You know, so big as Jupiter. This is the usage over here. Then, or you can say as big as, both ways. This I had explained to you while doing this chapter. Okay, let us move to the next. The next thing is that substitution of one part of speech for another. So we have to uh, substituting uh, one part, particular part of speech for another. Now for example you can substitute a noun. Substituting a noun for example. Substituting a noun. Noun maybe for verb. Substituting a noun for verb. A noun for verb. I will write it over here. Now over here you can see a noun for verb. Okay, the first sentence is a verb. I fully agree. I fully agree with you on this issue. Fine. So this verb is getting changed. When you're changing it to a noun, it becomes I am in full agreement. I am in full agreement with you on this uh, issue. On this issue. This is how it gets changed. Fine. Uh, similarly, I can we can have another sentence. So you can see another one, another example, you can see the verb, we have been greatly pleased, pleased at your success. We have been greatly pleased at your success. This changes to the noun, your success, your success. So you're taking this part, your success has given us great pleasure. So this pleasure is a noun, so it's getting changed to a noun. 
so in all these things you have to keep in mind the main verb is being changed okay so the main verb is changed to a noun so there uh, a new verb has to form like that right so this is what it happens over here you can see another example see in this example rana pratap sami fought bravely okay so this is a verb so when it's just getting changed to noun you can see the main verb how it changes rana pratap's army put up a brave fight put up a brave fight this is how it is getting changed okay noun for an adjective so when you change a noun for an adjective you can see an adjective i admit being negligent okay so this is an adjective so you are changing an adjective to a noun i admit my negligence so it changes it becomes negligence i admit my negligence so negligent become negligence this is how it is getting changed to a noun the next one you can see over here uh, the adjective we are proud of our rich cultural heritage we are proud of our rich cultural heritage so this we are changing to the uh, noun you can see we take pride we proud becomes pride when you are changing to, uh, to noun okay so th this is adjective this proud means adjective pride is noun so we take pride in our rich cultural heritage so this is how you change an adjective to the noun then noun for similarly true adjective it is true right and it gets changed to truth in the noun form like that you can change all the uh, adjectives to noun now you can see uh, noun for an adverb for an adverb how it gets changed okay the adverb you can see uh, please read the instructions carefully so this you can change instructions carefully now this is an adverb fine this carefully gets changed when it is noun it becomes please read the instructions you know carefully becomes care right instructions with care so this is how it gets changed to a noun okay so with that we completed uh, changing one part of speech to the another let us move to the next uh, transformation